This presentation is for Chapter 5, Cost, Volume, Profit Analysis. In Learning Objective 2, we are going to learn how to calculate operating income using contribution margin and we're going to learn about contribution margin ratio. So the difference between net sales revenue and variable cost is called contribution margin. It is called contribution margin because it is the amount that contributes to covering fixed costs. We can often express contribution margin in total. So using Smart Touch Learning as an example, let's calculate total contribution margin. If Smart Touch Learning sold 200 tablets and the tablets were $500 per tablet, net sales revenue would be equal to $100,000. If the variable cost per tablet was $275, we could calculate total variable costs by multiplying $275 per tablet times 200 tablets and get $55,000. So subtracting the total variable cost of $55,000 from net sales revenue of $100,000 gives total contribution margin of $45,000. However, contribution margin can also be expressed as a unit amount. So the terms unit contribution margin and contribution margin per unit are often used interchangeably. Using our Smart Touch Learning example, let's calculate unit contribution margin. So the net sales revenue per unit is $500 and the variable cost per unit is $275. So subtracting the $275 from $500 gives a unit contribution margin of $225 per tablet. A third way to express contribution margin is as a ratio. So the contribution margin ratio is the ratio of contribution margin to net sales revenue. It can be calculated either using the total contribution margin divided by net sales revenue or the unit contribution margin divided by net sales revenue per unit. Using the Smart Touch Learning example, we can take the unit, uh, the total contribution margin of $45,000, divide by the total net sales revenue of $100,000, and we get 45%. We can also take the unit contribution margin of $225 per tablet and divide that by the net sales revenue per unit of $500 per tablet and get the same 45%. So, the traditional income statement format that we have learned in Principles 1 does not always provide enough information for managers, so another format is used. A contribution margin income statement classifies costs by behavior. That is, costs are classified either as variable or fixed costs. So the contribution margin highlights contribution margin income, which is net sales less variable cost. This slide compares the traditional income statement that's required by GAAP to the contribution margin income statement. So let's look at each one of them. In the traditional income statement, we begin with net sales revenue and we subtract cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold will represent all the product costs. Some of those product costs will be variable and some fixed. After we subtract cost of goods sold from net sales revenue, we get gross profit. From gross profit, we subtract our period costs like selling and administrative expenses. Some of those will be variable and some will be fixed, and we will get operating income at the end. Using a contribution margin income statement, we again will start with net sales revenue, but this uh, income statement will then subtract all variable costs to get contribution margin. Those variable costs will include some product costs but some period costs. From contribution margin we would subtract all fixed costs. Some of those fixed costs would be product costs and some would be period costs and we again would get operating income. And that is the conclusion of the demonstration for Learning Objective 2.